A triangle ABC has area 20 centimetres squared. Side AB is 8 centimetres, side BC is 9 centimetres, and the angle ABC is obtuse. I need to find the length AC. Right, quite a lot of information there, so let me just draw that out so I can get a better idea of what's going on. So, ABC is obtuse, so let's say A, B, C, there's my obtuse angle. Remember, obtuse means bigger than 90, but less than 180. So I'm told that side AB is 8, side BC is 9, and I know that the area is 20. So with that information, I can use the area formula that says a half AB sine C is the area of a triangle, where angle C is the angle that's in between the two sides A and B. So I can say that a half 8 times 9 times sine of the angle in between them, which is this angle here, would be equal to 20. So I can now times both sides by 2. Divide both sides by the 8 times 9, so divide both sides by 72, and do sine inverse of 40 over 72, so sine inverse 40 over 72, and I get 33.75 degrees. Now notice that that is an acute angle, not an obtuse angle. Remember that the sine graph looks like this. We have an acute angle here and we have an obtuse angle here. Your calculator is only ever going to give you the acute angle. So the calculator is giving you this angle here. I want this angle, so I need to do 180 minus the 33.75 to get my angle that I actually want. So 180 minus 33.75. And I find that the obtuse angle is 146.25. Right, I can now use the cosine rule to work out the length AC. So the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times the cosine of the angle between them. So if I type that into my calculator, 8 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 8 times 9 times cosine of my answer from the previous part of the question. I get 264.73, blah, blah, blah. Square root the answer. And I find that the length AC is 16.3 centimetres.